So just a quick addendum uh, to my previous video on this uh, Sony amplifier, the uh, TAFB940R. I'll put a link in the doodly doo to the um, other video where I talk about the um, the phono board. So there was a kind of intermittent fault on this, um, but I hadn't confirmed the outcome on the previous video or by the time I was doing that. So uh, it's a few days later and um, I just wanted to make a note of it in case it helps somebody in the future. Um, so what was happening was that the amplifier was working fine, um, but a few minutes after turn on, presumably after it had warmed up a little bit, there was a kind of ticking noise. Um, and it was it sounded very much like the ticking of relays. Um, so you've got relays on the input um, which tick and when you change the speaker settings um, on or off A and B uh, those those tick so those would be the speaker relays here and the input relays here um, but the sound was always constant it, it didn't sort of come on and off um, so I just sort of ignored it uh, but it sort of got worse over a few months maybe um, and so it's pretty reliably uh, you could predict that it would happen um, every time you turned on the amp. Um, and for a while I sort of assumed it must be maybe some contacts being dirty on the speaker connector and maybe because I was using the A channel maybe the B channel was coming on and off and that would mean that I wouldn't actually hear it on the A channel. Something like that, that's what I kind of guessed. Anyway, while I'd got the top off uh, for the previous video, um, I was just poking around and I, I've got this obsession with when I open up some electronics, I like to straighten up all the components. Sometimes they're kind of leaning over, that kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's completely pointless, but it's just the thing I do. Um, so what, I was looking at these um, these transistors here, the drivers, and I was just sort of touching them and they were very wobbly. I mean, you know, obviously there's a little bit of wobble at any normally, but these were just sort of wobbling around. So I suspected dry joints. Um, and indeed, I was able to um, reflow the solder on those on the underside. I mean, to be honest, they looked pretty good. It was barely visible. I mean, sometimes you can see a, a big crack or the, the, the lead wobbling. Um, but these, you couldn't really see anything maybe just a slight uh crack around the, the wire but anyway um it, it definitely has uh firmed up those transistors and more to the point after a few days no ticking no ticking noise so sort of experimentally that seems to have fixed the problem um but I'm still not entirely sure how that could have caused the noise. Um, certainly dry joints would be thermally sensitive. Um, so that, that makes sense. But I'm, I'm still not sure about the... Where, where did the actual noise, the ticking noise, come from? It was definitely from the, from the amplifier physically, not through the speakers. Uh, because sometimes I'd have uh, the, the, um, the speakers off and... Uh, I could still see it. Um, I, I might have suspected maybe a protection relay because there's also a relay here, but this light I never saw coming on. So, well, a bit of a mystery still. Um, but yeah, that's that's something to, to look out for on this amp. Um, uh, usefully, the underside is very easy to get at. There's a, there's a panel, at least to, to get to most of the components um, so don't have to take out the whole board all right well that's that's it so hopefully that may help somebody in the future if they have the same problem thanks for watching